you could take a look at this photo, which is going to take you back to school, mm -hmm. what memories does it bring back? So, <laughs> this photo brings back, um, I mean, it's not all sad memories, but it was like um, tough times, I'd say. Just not being able to fit back into a group where, you know, I thought I was, you know, accepted. Just been feeling like I had to start again. Well, looking at the photo, it definitely brings back um, the worst memory. It's a bit of a mean girls moment, actually, if anyone recalls the film. So, you know, when you're looking for somewhere to sit at dinner, and I was like, okay, yeah, it's fine. Like, just pop with my friends. And that was not a reality. So I ended up grabbing my sandwich, taking myself to the toilet, and munching away. That was an all time low. Not fun. I mean, it was pretty relentless. Like, there'd be people that would go out of their way to make sure I knew, or, well, they'd tell me that, like, they'd come up to me and, like, you're not a star, you know, you're nobody anymore, no one cares about you, blah, 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 blah. And, like, I had the confidence in myself because I was like, you know what? It's, it's fine, these people are just trying to get me down because I know what I can do. I know um, I, was, I was a performer, I was acting at that time, I'd been on stage, I'd done my things, and I think, I don't know whether it was jealousy or just pure um, hate for somebody that was doing something, you know, successful and different. I, was never, I never got hit, and no one ever really like beat me up or you know, that type of major bullying. I mean, physical, should we say. But it was more mentally draining, it was like, the little chives, the little the whispers. The people would be, you know, oh, gay boy this, gay boy that. But at that time, I wasn't out, out in the closet. I suppose I almost was because everybody knew, but I, it was just unspoken. So I, I kind of wish if I could rewind the clock, I would, I would have been out, and I would have been like, yeah, whatever. You like what you're gonna do because then the bullies can't get you if you know it's not a secret anymore. I'm so, I'm not frustrated because I'm fine now because <laughs> she's out. But um, at that time, I would have just really been able to turn around and be like, yeah, and what are you going to do about it? I bet even now people don't think I was bullied or people might not even think they were bullying me, but from what they were doing, I knew for certain that, um, you know, it was getting me down. It's just very, very petty. Well, the low points, you just feel alone. You feel very lonely, like you couldn't talk to anybody. I remember just being, you know, being around all the boys and peeing and stuff like that and just looking around thinking, I literally have nothing in common with you guys because I feel like I've been pushed, pushed, pushed away. And, um, yeah, I just felt, I felt worthless, like, oh, nobody gives, you know, a damn about me anymore. But every time the school would finish, I would, like, ride home on my bike and I'd be like, go to my room and do something that I loved, whether I was, like, singing a song. <laughs> acting out a scene or call my friends in London and be like, oh God, this happened, like, let's laugh it off. And there'd always be somebody on the other end of the phone, so I'd always make sure I got my feelings out when I'd um, gone. But when I went to school, it's like a bit of a prison for that, you know, small amount of time. The thing that would definitely have made a difference would have been an anti-bully ambassador, obviously, because I feel I could have gone to them, I could have told them all my issues, maybe even they wouldn't have had to tell a teacher, it would have just been the fact that somebody else was understanding my struggle and we could have, you know, fought through it together. In the UK, 10 million children are going back to school. Over half of them will be affected by bullying. You can change that by helping us train an anti-bullying ambassador in every school. Here's how you can help. Text ANTI15 followed by £1, £2, £3, £4, £5 or £10 to 70070 and show your support online. This campaign is run by the Diana Award Charity.